Keller University trainers, I'm here today to share with you how to record your pre-recording, your session, and then what to do afterwards. The computer will need to process that recording, and then after that, you just need to upload it. It's really super simple. So we are going to get started. I have a screen open. I'm pretending that I'm ready to I'm ready to present, and I also am showing you my Zoom window as well, so you can see what you're seeing. So you'll start your Zoom, and the way that you do that is you just click on New Meeting, and then you start a meeting. You don't even have to have anybody in there. I invited the Genius team to mine, but it could just be you, yourself, and you. <laughs> so when you're ready to start, you'll go to the bottom toolbar of Zoom, and click on record. Now I'm not seeing record because my screen, I've narrowed it, that I've made it skinny. So usually you'll just need to click on more. So there it is there. If I had widened my screen, it would have enough room to put it down here. And then there it is. So when I click record, it starts the recording and it indicates that in the top left corner. So you can see I'm recording here. Now I really am not on the right slide, so I'm going to pause it and note that Zoom shows that it's paused here for me. So I love that in the top left corner. I'm going to click over here on my slideshow and get adjusted to where I want to be. There's, there's where I need to be. And then I'm going to come back to Zoom and hit the what looks like a little play button. Notice it says resume recording. You don't want to click the, the square because that will stop the recording. So I'm going to resume. I would go through my slides, I would talk, I would share my screen, all the things that you're going to do normally. Okay, and then let's just pretend like I'm finished. Okay, but remember you can always click on your Zoom window and pause it and restart it as needed. Let's say I'm finished. I'm going to click the stop recording button. And now what happens here is it's kind of like it's in limbo. It's just paused for a second. When you click end the meeting, end the meeting. So I'm going to click end, end meeting for all. When you do that, your, let me pull it over so you guys can see it. Your converting window, let me minimize that because I think I hit it. Oh, I think it finished. Yeah, it finished. My converting window popped up, and because my video was so short, it just really happened quick. Um, but then it pulls up the, the folder in which the recording lives. So if you, for whatever reason, leave your computer or come back, I want to show you how to get there. But this is my Zoom recording that I just did. Um, and fortunately, my Mac will tell me over here, that's the one I did today at 9.59. This other one is the one I did at 9.59. Okay, so I guess I did two. Yeah, I think I did one before um, before I recorded this for you guys. So you, you're probably just going to have one. But one thing I want you to know is you want the MP4. You don't want any of the other files because what Zoom does is it gives you some audio files, which would be great if you wanted to listen to it like a podcast. But we want to see your beautiful faces and your beautiful screens. So you need to grab this MP4. Now I'm going to close that just in case you need to get to that recording on a Mac it's going to be the finder on a Windows computer it's going to be your Windows Explorer your little yellow folder at the bottom but whatever type of computer you use you need to go to your um, documents folder and then your zoom subfolder and I've done this lots and lots of times so you can see that they're labeled they're really long labels, so let me expand them for you. But you can see that it gives me the date and time. So I'm going to scroll down to the most recent one, which is today. I'm recording this on March 11th at almost 10 o'clock a.m. So always look for that Zoom MP4 file. It might say Zoom underscore something else just because I did it twice. But this one is the one I want. And then I'm going to show you next how to drag it over. Now we're ready to upload to the appropriate folder for the KU videos. So what I want you to do in your Google Chrome browser, 
just go up to your Omni box, which is of course your, where your address bar is, and you're going to type in bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash K-U on demand. Notice what letters I've capitalized, the K, the U, the O, and the D, K-U on demand, 2021. And that's a shortened link to a folder, a special folder that we have given you. Okay, so once you're there, and I personally like to look at it in list view, which is this top right button, it gives it to me in a list. Okay, uh, right now we don't have all the folders created, but by the time you're watching this, you will have all the folders inside this KU On Demand folder. So for right now, I have two, and I'm going to pretend like my class is KU3 Aries Query for Beginners. That's my class. So I'm going to open that up. Make sure you double click your folder and open it up. Um, you can definitely use your search feature to find your course name. If you have to scroll, I apologize. I know there's probably pretty soon going to be lots of classes in here. From, from what I've heard, it might be close to 300. But find your class, double click it, and open it up. And that's where you want to upload your file. Okay, so all you do is go to New, File, Upload. And remember, I said it's in my Documents folder. Where's my Documents folder? It's somewhere. And it's in my Zoom folder. And remember, it was the bottom one. Depending on how you have it sorted, it's my most recent one. You might have it at the top. You might have it at the bottom. And then, is that the right one? Oh, it was sorted differently in this window. There it is. So I had to widen my column to see. There it is. 311, the one we talked about a minute ago, Zoom underscore one. I am going to open that. Now, I want to show you another way to do it. Of course, in the bottom right corner, it's telling me when it's uploaded. Yours are going to take a lot longer because your classes are going to be longer. Um, I can see now that the upload is complete, and I can close that little status window at the bottom right. However, if you like the drag and drop method on a Mac, it's the Finder on a PC. It's your Windows Explorer, the little yellow folder at the bottom. But if you've navigated to that folder, you can adjust your windows where you can actually drag and drop it. I'm not, well, maybe I am going to do that. I'm going to say cancel. It knows that I have two files with the same name, so it didn't like that. But two ways to do that. Definitely open your folder. Make sure it's here in the top, that it's open. And then new file upload. Navigate to your folder, then your file. Remember, it's in documents, then it's in Zoom. And then find the one that matches the date and time that you recorded it. Remember, you want the MP4, not the sound file. And when it's there, you're done. You can close all your windows and know that you've done your due diligence for Keller University On Demand 2021. We want to thank you so much. And just please get those in on time by the deadline. And let us know if you have any questions. We're at edtech at kellerisd.net. Thank you.